floor to that level three. So first closing the front, closing the back, and then lifting up. And then finding your neutral spine or knowing where your neutral spine is. Fingers on thumb level, if not, take a breath in, release that navel all the way out. And on the out breath, draw that navel all the way in. Your in breath, release it all the way out. And on your out breath, draw it about a third of the way in. Let it just rest there till we start moving. When I say draw up, draw in, you're going to draw up your pelvic floor a little higher. You're going to draw in your navel a little further. Okay. Release that down. So you've drawn your navel in 30%. Roll your shoulders back and down. Fingertips just resting towards the floor. Middle finger by your trouser seam. Lengthen through the crown of the head and then just bring the chin in slightly. Just nod it in slightly so you feel the lengthening down the back of the neck. Okay, just want you to stand here. Take a breath in. Release out. On your out breath, draw in. Lift up the pelvic floor. Just get used to that movement. Breathe in. Release out. Breathe out and draw in. And again, breathe in, release out, breathe out and draw in. Breathe in, release and lower the pelvic floor, breathe out and draw in. Okay, hold that here, drop your chin down to the chest. Lift up, turn to one side, back to the center, chain to the chest, lift up, turn to the side, back to the center. As you drop your chin to your chest, you can really feel the thoracic spine area switch on. One more time into the chest, lift up, turn to the side, and back to centre, keeping the shoulders level, take the ear to one side, lovely stretch and movement down the side of the neck and change, and back to centre, okay, lift your shoulders up towards your ears, and release them down. And again. Lift up, release down. Keep your head at the same place, so don't drop your chin lower to help get the shoulders higher. And now circle the arms forward. Making the circles bigger if you can. Two more this way. And now circle back, so lift up to the ears, roll back, pop them in their pockets at the back, the shoulder blades of your pockets, drop them in there two more times. And just leave them in their pockets, reaching down to the side. So lateral bend, sliding the hand down the thigh as you go. So warming up here using the frontal plane. And you can start to reach out a little bit further. Reach as so you're just reaching into the distance. One more time each side. Just reach. And reach. Bring it back to center. Bending the knees, coming into a small squat. Take a breath in. Reach forward. Keep the neck in line with your spine. Breathe in and lift. So breathe out. Draw in a little further. 
Nice straight line from the crown of the head through to the tailbone. So hip flexion, knee flexion, hip extension, knee extension. One more time. And lift back up, just reset those shoulders. Coming into some balance. Gonna lift one foot from the floor. Take a breath in. As you breathe out, trying to keep the hip bones level, just lift the foot from the floor. Breathe in and release. Get your balance. Breathe out and lift. Breathe in and release. Breathe out and lift. Breathe in and release. One more time each side. going to turn sideways so we're going to slide one leg back so we're going to slide the big toe along the floor to about the back of the heel without any movement here in the hips and pelvis so if you place your fingertips on your hip bones at the front you'll be able to feel if you're coming out of neutral and rocking forward or back so you want to set up your neutral spine position take a breath in as you breathe out, get your balance and just slide back. Breathe in as you come back to center. I'm gonna tuck my top in so I can see. So take a breath in. You'll feel if your hip bones come forward. So as you take the foot back, if you're coming out of neutral, you'll feel your hip bones go forward. So breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in. So hopefully I'm staying in my neutral. Breathe out. So everything feels still. Probably looks like I've not because I've got a huge backside. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Slide back. Draw up the pelvic floor. Draw in the navel a little bit further. We're going to go one more time each side. We've not done this for a while. And breathe in. Okay, I want you to come down onto the floor, onto your mat, and you're coming onto your side to begin with. We're going to go with side, oops, the side kick. So either head on your arm, in your hand, or with a block on the arm or a towel. Nice straight line. So when you lean forward, you see your toes. You want your outer thigh, hip to the ceiling and your head lights in front. Now just lift the foot up away from your bottom foot. So your feet are in that neutral alignment. Okay, we're gonna flex the foot. Inhale. Exhale as it comes forward. So draw in the navel, lift up the pelvic floor, point the toe, breathe in as you go back. So we want no movement here, yeah? So we flex, breathe out as it comes forward and we're maintaining our position. toes point slightly breathe in and come back so we're stabilizing the pelvis with the transverse abdominis with the lifting of the pelvic floor so flex breathe out as you come forward try not to push too hard into the floor point breathe in as you come back now the progression of this exercise is how far that leg comes forward before any movement here. So breathe out and come forward, draw in, 
point point in and count back so i usually bring mine as far forward as when i start seeing the toes out the corner of my eye without turning the head to look so flex breathe out as it comes forward point breathe in as it goes back okay you're going to give me four more here point breathe in flex come forward point count so let's go one more time lovely and release just give that leg a little pat should it need it reset this time we're lifting up and down again not higher than that hip so breathe in Breathe out and lift. Breathe in and release. Breathe out and lift. Breathe in and release. So we're not rotating forward and backwards through the hip. Breathe out and lift. times. Breathe out, draw up, draw in. Breathe in and release. One more time guys. And release. Again, just drop that leg over. Remember which side you were on when it comes to the other side later. Okay, so come down onto your back. Find your neutral spine position. So small gap between your lower back and the mat, just enough to get the fingers under the edge. Okay, hands on the thighs or the floor to begin with. Chin, small gap, about the size of an orange between the chin and the chest. We're just coming up into a crunch. So take a breath in. Breathe out. You can either slide your hands along the floor or up and down the legs. Breathe in as you lower. So breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out as you lift. Breathe in as you lower. Starting to feel that the abs are working now. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Two more here. One more time. Breathe out, draw up, draw in as you lift. Breathe in as you lower. Relax the arms down on the floor. We're extending alternate leg by the foot along the floor. So take a breath in. As you breathe out, slide the leg forward. Breathe in and come back with your heel. Breathe 
out, opposite leg goes forward. Just make sure this leg on the floor, the foot on the floor, is the knee isn't dropping out to the side. Breathe in as it comes in. Breathe out. time each side. Breathe out. Breathe in. One more time here. Breathe out. Draw in that navel. And in. Okay, we're going to do that as we crunch up alternate leg will go out, okay? So just check you're still in neutral. Take a breath in to prepare. Now as you breathe out, lift the head and shoulders. Slide the leg forward. Breathe in and come back. Breathe out, slide the opposite leg forward. Breathe in and come back. One more time each side. one okay we're going to take this into a oblique move so opposite leg goes forward take a look if you're not sure you breathe in breathe out breathe in change sides breathe out Breathe in to come back. Breathe out, lift up, rotate, extend the opposite leg if you can. Breathe in and come back. We've got four more to go to each side. Breathe in to return. Breathe out. Drawing that navel, lifting up the pelvic floor. Breathe in. One more time each side. legs up to tabletop, so lift one leg, knee is over the hip, lift the second leg, maintain your neutral position if you can, you're just holding it here, just breathe in and out, so take a breath in, as you breathe out, draw in the navel, lift up the pelvic floor a little bit higher, inhale and release to 30%, and again, Breathe out, draw in, lift up. So just staying in this position. Breathe in and release to 30%. One more time, Scott Nietzsche on my foot. Breathe in. Breathe out. Okay, we're gonna go in toe taps to the floor. Remember you move from the hip. It's not just straightening out the knee and bending it, yeah? This doesn't move. So inhale, exhale and tap, inhale and lift. Change sides, exhale and tap, inhale and lift. Exhale and tap the floor, inhale and lift. 
drawing in to prevent an archway occurring in the lumbar spine. Breathe out to lower. Breathe in to lift. Breathe out to lower. Breathe in to lift. One more time each side. take that double time so you're gonna breathe in breathe out hold it here for a second and switch them over so breathe out just breathe in as normal now so we've got ten nine eight taking the hip from the hip joint remember knee doesn't change the ankle angle doesn't change at all three two one can you hold that up here just come into imprint if you need it for the holding what does it mean when you've got an itchy foot okay we're gonna go again take one foot to the floor one toe not the foot just the toe so you're dipping it in the water small gap between chin and chest let's go ten nine Eight, careful not to bring the knee in further than the hip. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Maintain that tabletop in neutral or in print. We're gonna go two more times. Try and start with the opposite side this time. Take one to the floor, are you ready? 10 nine eight seven if you've had enough take a rest six five four three two one and lift maintain got one more time if you're struggling finish now okay toe to the floor big toe dipped in the water are you ready ten nine eight seven six five four three two one both feet to the floor and come into full or oh, body stretch and release oh that was nice Come on to that opposite side, you may need to turn around. I could actually fall asleep here today. Bend the bottom leg under. Remember you're coming forward without tippling forward. Yep. So align the hip, ankle, knee, hip and shoulder. Spread the fingers, pop them in front, flex the foot. Take a breath in, breathe out as you come forward without the hips moving back or forward. Point, breathe in as you go back. Flex, breathe out as you come forward. I can come loads more further forward on this time, this side. Point, breathe in as you go back. I'm just gonna check in with my hip that that's right. So flex, breathe out. Point, breathe in. Four more to go. Flex, breathe out. Point, breathe in, that's it, not moving forward, flex, breathe in, maintaining that hip position, pelvic girdle is supported and stable. Two more, flex, breathe in, breathe out even. 
point breathe in as time comes forward and goes back on the in breath and release drop it in front and then we're lifting up and down Again, not too high to the height of that hip. Set up your position. Remember, you lay between two panes of glass. That hip can't rotate forward or back. Take a breath in. Breathe out and lift. Pull in the navel. Lift up the pelvic floor. Breathe in and release. So breathe out and lift. in front. Just bring that hip area, your abductor side of the thigh back to life and then roll back over onto your back. Okay, set up your neutral spine position again before we go into some arm circles. So fingertips just fit under the edge but don't meet in the middle. Knees in line with your hips, in line with your ankles. Open up across your shoulder blades, chin, gap between chin and chest. Now take the arms up, just retract your shoulders back and down. Okay, take a breath in. As you breathe out, draw up, draw in, take the arms back and circle all the way around. We just need to move into a little bit more space. So breathe in, breathe out. arms down here this time. I just need my mat. And then bring your legs back up to tabletop. So knees over hips. Okay, we're going to extend and take the toe up to the ceiling. Inhale. Exhale up down, breathe in, breathe out, lift up, down as far as it's comfortable for you, breathe in, back to tabletop, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, toe to the ceiling, Lower it down, breathe in, breathe out, drawing that navel, lift up your pelvic floor, breathe in, breathe out, extend, lower, breathe in to come back, one more 
more time each side. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Take the feet down to the floor. Okay, we're going to add those arm circles back in if we can. to knee level, arms up, retract your shoulders back, okay, take a breath in, breathe out, circle the arms, breathe in, come back with the knee, lift up the arms over the shoulders, these are our practice ones, breathe out, arms go back, toe goes to the ceiling, leg lowers, arms circle, breathe in, leg comes back, arms come above the shoulders, okay? So we're gonna go for eight. If eight is too many for you, rest when you need to. Okay, so gap between chin and chest, neutral spine, breathe in, breathe out. Take that leg as far as is comfortable for you. Breathe out. Breathe in. Four more. Breathe out. Extend. Lower if you can. One more time each side. Remember to keep the chin towards the chest, small gap, orange sides. One more time. and just roll over onto the tummy for swimming. So, we're gonna engage and work the posterior chain. So you're gonna lengthen the arms out, lengthen the legs out, and then starting with the arms, we're just going to lift and lengthen. Relax the legs. Keeping the forehead down on the mat or just up. Certainly not in this position, yeah? So compressing the neck there. So we want to at least keep that neck in line with the spine. So just relax down with the legs. Take a breath in. One arm lifts up and reaches as far forward as you can. Reach, reach, reach. Breathe in and release. Remember on the out breath, you're drawing the navel up away from the mat. Try not to squeeze the buttocks. Off we go, opposite side. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Lift and lengthen. Breathe in and release. One more here. Breathe 
ebb and release. So relaxing the arms, we're just gonna slightly lift the leg and then big toe reaches as far back as it can, okay? So just keep your head down, relax your head, relax your arms, shoulders back and down. Take a breath in. Breathe out, lift and lengthen. A big toe, reaches. Breathe in and release. And again, opposite side. Breathe out and lift. Breathe in and release. Breathe out and lift. Time. Breathe out and lift. Breathe in and release. Okay, so now we go for opposite arm, opposite leg together. Okay, so drawing that 30% to begin with. Take a breath in. Exhale, lift and lengthen up right from that middle finger out to the end of the toe breathe in and release and again breathe out lift and lengthen opposites breathe in and release breathe out lift and lengthen breathe in and release One more time each side. And release. Just lift up, sit back on your heels, just release and rest. Now we're going to go into swimming, so it will flow on the two opposite sides together. It will look like this. One, two, three, four, okay? Up to ten. Just breathe in and out as normal here on the flow movement. Are we ready? Lift one opposite, off we go. Ten, nine. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Press down. Start with the opposite side if you can remember. Off we go. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Two, one, release. Try not to bend the knee, so we don't want to be just lifting up like this. We've got two more rounds. Off we go, lift. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and release. Getting nice and warm. On this last round, Try not to touch the floor in between. Okay, are we ready? Lift up, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Release, sit back on your heels. And then come back down. This time, 
bringing your arms down by your sides feet together let the heels drop out to the side big toes in contact I want you to imagine you're like a human cannon and what you're going to do is you're going to breathe in as you breathe out you're lifting up and drawing your palms towards each other yeah so you're opening up the chest mobility in the thoracic spine the widest part of your back okay so big toes together that way you're not going to use your glutes take a breath in breathe out lift breathe in and lower now when you lift you don't want to be lifting your head it's not about that keep the chin there think about extending through the crown of the head off we go breathe in breathe out draw up the pelvic floor draw the navel away from the mat breathe in and release breathe out and lift breathe in and lower Three more to go. Push those palms towards one another. Two more. And one more. in lift up come up into a couch stretch release that arm feels lovely okay come and sit down with your legs at the side like this and one hand on the floor okay what this is what we're aiming for and i'll show you an easier version if not you're gonna breathe in, breathe out, lift up, breathe in and sit back down. If you can't do that, if you can't put the weight onto this side, you'll breathe out and lift, breathe in and lower. Okay, so when we lift, think about your alignment. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Sit back down. Exhale. So right through the obliques here. And then set here. And then reach. Look down at your hand on the floor. And release. And again, breathe in. Breathe out. into your lats here in the bra strap area breathe out and lift one more time this side breathe out and lift breathe in and release okay so you feel down the side of that leg there as well swizzle round to the opposite side spread your fingers out wide to create a good strong grounding base hips don't let them drop back take a breath in breathe out look down at the hand on the floor or the hand in the air and release 
Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. And again. Breathe out. Feel down the side into the obliques. Remember your option was to keep the bum on the floor, bend this elbow and reach over. I've got three more. Hit up towards the ceiling. Two, one more. And release. Okay, bring your legs in front. We're gonna go into the spine twist. So make sure you're sat on your sitting bones and you're not slumped. So you sat up nice and tall and then the shoulders are in their pockets, okay? The minute they come out their pockets, let me show you. So if the shoulders come out their pockets, watch my position, I tend to go into this, yeah? Rounded and start relaxing and collapsing through the spine. So here's the difference, shoulders back and down. So just wiggle from side to side, keep the weight evenly in there. Bring the hands to the temple, thumb on the chest, Excuse me. Chin rests on the first finger, shoulders back and down. Floor three for the pelvic floor, 30% for the navel to begin with. Once we're moving, we know that that increases. So rest the chin on there, take a breath in. Breathe out and turn through the obliques, through the thoracic spine, mobility there. Breathe in and come back. Breathe out and turn. Breathe in and come back. Breathe out. Keep those shoulders back and down. Breathe in. Two more each side. It's a good mobilizing work through the back. Working to the obliques down the side of your tummy into the waist. Shoulders back and down. Keep a check on that. You're sat evenly on your sitting bones. One more time each side. One more on the core before we come down to do our stretch and flexibility. Okay. So just bring the legs up to tabletop. Again, use the imprint if you need to to hold here. Okay. Small gap between chin and chest, so lengthen down the back of the neck. Okay, take one leg forward. You can either have toe to the ceiling or lowering down, but the minute you feel you're losing your neutral, then just lift up a tad. We're gonna change them simultaneously, so at a small pace, which means just breathe in and out, focus on drawing that navel in and the pelvic floor up, okay? And make sure you don't look up at the ceiling but you, from here, you should be able to see the top of your knees or just through the corners of the eye. So lifting up, relax and retract back your shoulders down. Take one leg out. Okay, three, two, one, and so ten, nine, eight, seven, six. Five, four, three, two, one. Draw the knees in. 
that was your warm up phase. Okay, so if you can, just lift the head and shoulders up so they're off the floor and guide the leg in and out. Side of the thigh, not the knee. Are we ready? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Head and shoulders go down. Three more sets if we can. Lifting up, try and start with the opposite side if you can remember. Head and shoulders up, off we go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Release. Twice more. Lift up. Remember, keep the head and shoulders down like the warm up round if you need to. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Release. One more time. Off we go. Set up. Off we go. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and release. Well done. Take the legs out, arms above, full body stretch. Spread the fingers wide. Spread the toes, chin to the chest. into the chest, hands behind the legs. And just roll from side to side. Circle it round. Releasing the back, giving it a little massage. Change direction. And roll from side to side. Okay. Taking the legs to one side and the arms to the opposite. into your stretch. Arm back to the centre, keep the legs close to the body, switch it over. Take your right leg out on the floor. Take your right hand over your left knee. And take your left arm out on the floor and just ease that leg over, keeping this arm on the floor behind you. Just a lovely stretch and release into the back. Chin 
changing sides. Breathe out and over. to all fours. Take one hand, reach it through. Lift the arm up, push the palm away from you. And changing sides, reach through. Take the arm up if you can, palm away from you. And release. Come on to all fours, knees underneath the hips, hands underneath your shoulders, chin to the chest, push it back up towards the ceiling into a cat stretch. To a cow position, keep the eyes looking down at the mat or looking down at your fingers. And again, push up to the ceiling, breathe out. to neutral take a big step forward lift up if you can come into that hip flexor stretch and reach it up reach it over towards this bent leg Ooh. and release change sides so big step forward hip flexor stretch Reach up and over. And release. Okay, bring your feet together and just gently come up to standing, making sure the head comes up last. Hope you've enjoyed that as much as me. I could have actually, what's Liz saying? Can't see, wait, I can't see. We are the class. Great, thanks, are you? Oh yes, and great, thanks Liz. Morning Mette, seeing you at the gym as well this week, thank you. Doesn't matter if you're late Liz, it's fine. Always just join in, doesn't matter at all. <laughs> 